Hello, my name is Margaret Sharp. I'm a member of the House of Lords. I sit on the Liberal Democrat benches there, and I've been spokesman for FE and HE for the Liberal Democrats for some time now. I was asked last, no, last December if I would chair an inquiry for NIAS, the National Institute for Adult and Continuing Education, on colleges in their community. It was in fact an inquiry backed not only by NIAS but also by the AOC and the 157 group. Hey, can you tell us some of the findings from the, the inquiry? Yes, I think the key issue that came out of it was that we found many colleges were already engaged quite deeply with their communities and the best of them were really doing very exciting things. The element here about excitement was really that it was when they were linking up with other organisations, whether they were working with employers and developing rather exciting partnerships with employers, but very often also with other public sector organisations, with local authorities, with youth offending teams, with youth, youth groups, with charities, doing, as I say, creative and exciting things within their communities, pulling people into learning, which was the, the essence of, of um, what was so important. Very often, people, when they come into learning, um, acquire a self-esteem and a self-confidence that then carries them forward. And this is one of the things that FE colleges are so good at doing, at transforming lives. And I think that what we were very keen to do was that colleges shouldn't just be seen as what I might call skills factories. There was a tendency on the part of the last Labour government and indeed on the part even of this government to put a lot of emphasis on colleges um, training people with higher level skills for, in order that their productivity would improve. Now this is very important and the quality of teaching and learning in the colleges is also vitally important. But colleges also have this role to play in encouraging more people to get involved in education and training and not just earn more because their skills are higher but also fulfil themselves better because they're enjoying life more. And that's really what it was partly about. Thank you.